first time almost in history, paleoanthropology has more fossil evidence than it does people that are studying it. Neo is a skeleton, it's about 40% complete, and it's got an incredibly complete skull and jaw, and, and the face, which for the first time gives us a look at what the face of Homo Naledi looked like in a real individual. It also preserves uh, the femur, which tells us about the, the height of the individual. So it's a small-bodied human's height, about 1.4, 1.5 meters high. It's got parts of the upper limbs, including the clavicle. It's got parts of the lower limbs. So it's showing us about the proportions of Homo Naledi. In a way, it's like a keystone, where in the first chamber we have the skeletons of many individuals mixed together, so we can look at parts in multiple copies. This shows us all of those bones together in one individual. This population of Homo naledi is between about 230,000 and 330,000 years ago. That doesn't mean the species isn't older than that, but it's come down through time surviving. Now what's important about that, that's the same time where we think that we have the origins of modern humans right here in southern Africa. So there's the possibility that Homo naledi met and even interacted with the ancestors of modern humans. And that's a big deal. It's a big deal to archaeology too, because from this time onward, we don't know who made which archaeological industries. It complexifies the problem.